Hey there gang. I thought I would do a quick little uh, video here and have a look at the difference in the quality of the maps that I was referring to. I made a post on Facebook and everyone kind of jumped down my throat about a couple of different things. It's been one of those weeks, I guess. And of course, this was not a jump down the throat, really. It was more, hey, what do you mean when you say BS uh, in regards to some compass maps? And so I wanted to show you the difference between the new African campaign map format and style and these two games, uh, Honda Paris and Enemy Action Ardennes. So let's have a look at the Honda Paris one first and just to give you a feel, right? So the, the first one, let's move the box out of the way. So. It's a uh, you have standard weight, and it's that shiny gloss paper, <clears throat> which you know is fine. It's uh, pretty slippery, and that's also fine. It, it, it prints pretty well, but the problem you get is um, there these these creases, the ink on these creases uh, uh, peels peels off or wears off or almost almost immediately, and when you can't really. It's hard to see in the camera. But this white line, uh, when you're looking at uh, darker terrain, like here, down here, this this just continues to wear and and crack. And I have this is the second time I've opened these maps, and you can see here where uh, where the ink is gone. So what what does that do? From a you know from an immersive quality with uh, all these cr uh, these creases on the map, I, I just think it tends to spoil the look of the maps. Number one and number two, it tends to uh, make me feel like these maps are not going to last a long time. So I thought you know what well, maybe it's just uh, it's just you know this particular game, but we've already seen other folks have made uh, issue with the uh, Dens maps and uh, these maps uh, let's see how they're doing here this guy's this guy and this this guy this game's been played I bought this second hand uh, so I can't tell you how I can't tell you how many times it's been played but that's one there I didn't realize this guy had done such a nice job this guy's done a very nice job of organizing, organizing this game Let's see if there's any of this. I'm sure there's other maps in here. Here we go. And uh, and I, I but I think you see my point. And, and it's minor, right? I'm not probably shouldn't have used the word BS. Here we go. So even here we've got uh, where on these uh, and this game's probably been played once or twice, based just based on the time that I I uh, I bought it. There's, you can't. This is hard to see on video, but there's this white crease right across here with the ink, and and it just peels. Now, by comparison, uh, and, and a positive and happy, happy clappy comparison, here is. I'm just going to pull out one of the maps. Here is the uh, non-gloss, single-sided print. Uh, same. Um, let me see. Hard to say by the weight. I would say this is a slightly heavier, uh, slightly uh, weightier <coughs> poundage of paper, and it's a, a matte finish. And it doesn't, to me, look like it feels more like the GMT maps of old, where they weren't that high gloss finish. And it feels like none of this is going to peel. In fact, let me try and scrape some ink off here and see if I can. No, there's a there's a different printing process, and I got to tell you, from an aesthetic point of view, and a wear and tear point of view, I really feel like this is this is the preferred method for me. And <clears throat> I don't know how we find this out before the games are published or printed, but that would be a consideration for me when I start looking at uh, component quality: is how maps are are printed and structured and uh, you know the, obviously the weight of the map and things like that so not a big deal probably a incredibly minor a minor issue really when we when we think about it but uh if if you're going to play a game extensively and and over a long period of time you're going to want these things to be you know when they're folded and unfolded uh to not be wearing on the creases 
as they tend to do. And even these maps, of course, will, will wear on these creases. Uh, I've got some very old GMT maps uh, from a secondhand copy uh, uh, that someone had sent me and uh, to help me replace a map that I tore, because I'm that guy. And they, uh, that, that one, uh, one particular map, uh, and a copy of the game, uh, was very heavily played. And uh, even, even these will, will wear over time. I fear that these are not as robust uh, a, a print job or print style or print format as this, this particular format. I wish I could show you the... You can see the difference in the gloss there, but you can't feel the texture. But if you, uh, if you, if you have a GMT game and it's you know, one of the uh, uh, games not printed in the last year or so, and you feel the maps, you, you, that's what you're getting here with this African campaign. And uh, I, I'm going to do a shrink rip on the African campaign. Uh, fantastic uh, production job by Compass Games. A real step up, as far as I'm concerned, in their quality and their quality control. Uh, excellent stuff. So that's my observation when I said the BS Compass maps of prior days. I was referring to these things. I think these things are a little bit... Uh, a little bit tenuous and fragile and frail compared to this this uh, print format. Anyway, that's all I had to share with you. Uh, hey, what else? What else? Are we gamers got to do later.